Hey, it's friendless Pastor Goodman flying solo on the Drive to School podcast, talking about things that are not actually in the Bible, but still get quoted a lot by Christians. Here's one. God helps those who help themselves. And it's categorically not true. Jesus says, let the little children come unto me and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. And the little children are, are held as an example, not because they are more innocent than anyone else. We are sinners knit together uh, in, in the, the inward parts from uh, the, the, the womb. We are estranged from God. We have been rebellious from, from our youth. We are born in iniquity. There are passages all throughout Scripture that point to the fact that sin is a condition that is passed on from parent to child. And you can measure it really, really simple. That The simplest Bible passage for this is just, the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is life everlasting in Christ Jesus our Lord. So look at a, a, a little child, an infant, and ask, can, can that kid die? If, if they can, there's wages of sin there. Um, Lord, have mercy. So that's why that child then needs the kingdom of God. They are brought in not because they are more innocent, not because they are more trusting or anything else. Little kids are not just magically trusting, grab a strange kid and, and see whether or not he cries. It is going to happen. It's going to be uncomfortable. You're probably going to get arrested. Maybe don't actually follow this advice. Rather, little children are, they're helpless. God helps the helpless. Over and over again, the Bible is full of stories about a, a call to love the least of these, about Jesus healing those who cannot help themselves. What you're trying to say when you say God helps those who help themselves is that God works through means. And that's important. God works through people and he works through stuff. God never works in a, a vacuum. He doesn't just like zap stuff. He could, he's God, he can do what he wants. But instead, he works through people and he works through stuff. And so when I pray, give us this day our daily bread, God doesn't like float a hamburger in front of me. Instead, he has set up a wonderful system that in, in place where farmers grow crops and supermarkets sell food and I cook food and I pay for it by, by, by working. And all of these things work together that, that all of creation would be sustained. And God is at work inside of this and it's so incredibly boring that we want to cast God out of it even though honestly how would we keep this going as sinners we're selfish and we're dumb we, we don't do a great job with this but somehow the wheels haven't fallen off this bus it's called providence God is working inside of his creation to care for us when God wants to save you he works through means he works through baptism which according to first Peter now saves you it's not that God helps those who help themselves. It's that God actually places his help in places. You can actually see it and interact with it. He works through people and stuff so that when you need help, you know where to look. If, if you are uh, sick, if you get shot, go to the hospital and pray. Do both. It's not either or. Pray that God would heal and then recognize that God heals through doctors. It's not that God helps those who have made the good choice of driving to the hospital. It's that help can be found through doctors. God has promised so that you don't have to wonder whether or not you're in the right place for help. There's a reason that the hospital is very clearly labeled. You don't want to accidentally be in the McDonald's drive through if you got shot, unless you really need a cheeseburger that's acceptable. Instead, he labels where he will help so that you know what you're getting when you need it. He promises to forgive your sins through your pastor. He promises to heal through doctors. There are many places where God promises to work in specific ways through specific things. And it's not that God helps those who help themselves by getting there, but rather God wants to help the least of these, even those who cannot, so that we can, if somebody gets shot, I don't know, drive them to the hospital, not because they can help themselves, but because they can't. God insists that the least of these be helped, but he also insists that people be helped through means so that we can be sure that we're getting the help that we need.